to us about this private label issue and how much of a threat it will be to these third-party retailers that are also Amazon's bread and butter. Absolutely. I think it's a very interesting battle that's shifting. Uh, that uh, It started on retail, where 2018 was where Amazon was starting to show the muscle, muscle on retail. But now, 2019, the entire battlefront is going to shift to consumer brands, where did you know that if you search on Amazon for Amazon's own brands, you have more than 10,000 unique products, which are Amazon branded uh, products, which are available on Amazon. That means that Amazon is essentially going after the traditional brands, consumer brands, the public companies that we know of, companies like Black & Decker and, and Monster Cables. They're going after all of them in a very big way with, um, uh, to compete on market share. It's not just batteries and baby wipes anymore, as you mentioned, it's microwaves. I mean, what products do you think will see the most competition from Amazon's own products? So let's understand Amazon's playbook. Amazon is not a traditional merchant, meaning they don't uh, ride on human power. They're not making decisions on uh, by just understanding the uh, mechanics in the industry and all of that. They're looking at the consumer purchase pattern, the behavior of, uh, of consumers coming and shopping on Amazon. What keywords are they using? How much are they buying? And what's the season they're buying? Uh, what is the description I need to uh, put on what and uh, what title should I even put on all of these are very data driven decisions that uh, that uh, Amazon's able to make through their automation engine and um, Amazon will start with commodity products the products which are easy to go into their manufacturers I could make, can I call the manufacturer that is producing goods for Black & Decker and directly work with them. In fact, Amazon has started a program that manufacturers can directly work with Amazon to uh, cut the middle brand and uh, sell the similar products or even the same products in some cases under a different na brand name, which is Amazon's brand name. So they will start their way through con very commodity brands which are easily replicable. Uh, paper uh, or t uh, paper towels or diapers or uh, microwaves and things like that and uh, eventually uh, getting to more fashion brands and things like that which might, which might be a little harder for Amazon to penetrate. So there's no question that Amazon has an advantage on Amazon. Let's look at the bigger picture. You know, over the next four days, how do you see Amazon and the competition with Walmart and Target and other retailers playing out? Who wins, who loses? Uh, at this point, as we see as, and uh, in the data that we have seen, Amazon's already starting to dominate very big uh, in terms of uh, pricing and selection. In so the holiday prices guides, are the lowest. The prices are the lowest right now, and even much, much more sharper than even a, uh, a year ago. Uh, they are currently with the holiday guides that we that we looked at and scraped the prices on. We saw Amazon being about 93% 93 of items which overlapped, Amazon is cheaper than Target. And with Walmart's case, it's about 85% uh, of, uh, of common products are cheaper on Amazon. So the battlefront has just become, has become extremely fierce. And retailers, if they have a chance, first of all, many retailers have already filed uh, this year. And it was an Armageddon the year for retailers. The ones that are remaining, uh, they have survived because of the automation and AI technologies that they're using. But the battlefront has just become extremely fierce for them to compete. So where does Walmart have an edge? Where does Target have an edge? Uh, they have to really think about how they strategically use their stores. Uh, it's ironic uh, to think about it that way. But um, if you just go to battle with Amazon on their battlefront, which is price and widest selection, you're going to lose. But on the other hand, is there a convenience that you can offer by picking, picking in store or offering some discounts to coming inside the store and things like that? Uh, that uh, could be a very good uh, advantage for Target. And what about you know more niche retailers and uh, you know specific? brands you know do do that you know we, we've been talking a lot about how we've seen many of them um, you know not survive the rise of Amazon and yet I wonder if some are also stronger than ever because they can offer something that Amazon does not um, there there are uh, retailers which are spe uh, which are specialty retailers there if there's a specific reason to essentially buy it on uh, in the store maybe it's a um, very big brand name and uh, you can write on the brand name and the cache of that perhaps that's been adding a lot of um, a um, uh, reason for consumers to go into the store and shop. But uh, the consumer behavior right now is shifting to an online first behavior. Now, whether you are a branded uh, uh, consumer brand or whether you are a commodity retailer, you have to really go after um, 
uh, and win the online battle and uh, trying to understand how do you use automation, how do you use artificial intelligence? Because look, Amazon is putting a robot against a human being. And in most cases, if not all, a robot is going to win against human beings because the number of decisions that it can take, the amount of dynamism that it, it can bring in uh, is, uh, is exponentially higher than what a human being can do.